Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks we love to hear what different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Today we're looking at two oil stocks that are set for strong gains according to Goldman Sachs. Now before we jump into this video, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. Also guys, Tip Ranks TV is live so make sure you move over to Tip Ranks TV which is where I will be directly responding to your comments. You can watch all our financial content on Tip Ranks TV in an ad free space. Now without further ado, let's jump into this video. Russia's war in Ukraine won't just impact Russian soldiers and the Ukrainian people. In fact, Western nations have imposed heavy sanctions on Russia, cutting it off from the international banking system, restricting its access to the US dollar, and preventing the physical export of valuable commodities. That may be key, but Russia is the world's largest exporter of natural gas and the second largest exporter of crude oil. It's clear to say that the world's commodity market, particularly the hydrocarbon fuels industry, is in a nasty shock. Not everyone will suffer, however. If Russia's oil companies are looking at hard times ahead, remember the demand for oil will not disappear. If consumers don't get it from Russia, they will look elsewhere. Now we need to remember that Texas produces 43% of all US hydrocarbon output. And that state is one of the world's top five oil producers. It's actually in the same league as Russia and Saudi Arabia. With that in mind, five-star analyst Neil Mehta from Goldman Sachs has picked out a couple of stocks. Let's take a look at two of the oil stocks he recommends. The first stock is Diamondback Energy and its ticker is F-A-N-G. Diamondback Energy is a Texas-based player that is highly active in the richly productive Permian Basin. The Permian was the center of the US oil boom in the recent years and put Texas back on the global map of oil producers. Diamondback's production reflects the region's productivity. The company recorded an output of 387,100 barrels of oil equivalent daily in Q4 of 2021. This was slightly higher than the full year average of 375,300 barrels daily. Well, strong production and high prices led to higher revenues and earnings. Diamondback's top line has been growing consistently since rebounding from the corona bottom in Q2 of 2020. In the recent Q4, Diamondback reported $2.02 billion in revenue, and this was up by an astounding 162% year over year. EPS came in at $3.63 per diluted share, based on just over $1 billion in net income. This was well over the $3.37 forecast, and like revenues, Diamondback's EPS has been rising steadily for nearly two years now. The company has a strong and long-standing commitment to returning half or more of its free cash flow to its shareholders via dividends and buybacks. It has stuck to that policy and recently declared a cash dividend of 60 cents per common share. This represents a 20% increase over the last quarter's declaration and the $2.40 annualized payment gives a yield of 1.56%. The company also bought back over 3.85 million shares during the period, spending $409 million to do so. The current price for Diamondback Energy is $133.28. The analyst rating consensus is a strong buy, and the analyst price target is $158.47, which is an 18.90% upside based on 19 Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets. In coverage for Diamondback for Goldman Sachs is Neil Mehta, and he wrote that we continue to see favorable capital returns and debt reduction in 2022, given our estimates of $6 billion in free cash flow, 25% yield, at our bullish commodity price outlook. We expect the company to allocate above its minimum 50% of free cash flow to shareholders. We see 13% returns, assuming 60% free cash flow payout. In current above mid-cycle, 
commodity prices and see greater allocation going forward as the balance sheet continues to strengthen. And this is why he gives it a buy rating with a $188 price target, which is a 40.90% upside. The second oil stock is Ovintiv and its ticker is OVV. Ovintiv is one of the North American hydrocarbon industry's large cap players. Ovintiv, which recently reallocated from Canada to the US just two years ago, is an $11 billion company with primary assets in Montney on the Alberta British Columbia line at Anadarko in Oklahoma and in the Permian Basin of Texas. In addition, the company has smaller holdings in the back end formation of North Dakota and the Uinta Basin in Utah. In short, Ovintiv has its hand in the most of North America's most productive oil regions. This portfolio of assets has led to Ovintiv's strong revenues over the past couple of years. The company has seen six consecutive sequential gains in quarterly revenue, along with high earnings. In the last reported quarter for Q4 2022, the company realized $1.4 billion in net income, along with cash from operating activities at $3.1 billion and free cash flow of $1.7 billion. Ovintiv made further progress in reducing its debt load, paying down around $2.3 billion. Management predicts hitting the $3 billion net debt target by the second half of this year, as long as oil prices remain above $85 per barrel. Given that oil is consistently trading above $120 right now, this is an achievable outlook. In addition to paying down debt, Ovintiv has also boosted its dividend, increasing the payment to $0.20 cents per common share quarterly, or $0.80 cents annualized. This gives us a dividend yield of 1.33%. The current price for Ovintiv stock is $48, and the analyst rating consensus is a moderate buy. The analyst price target on Ovintiv stock is $55.63, which is a 15.90% upside based on 13 Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets. And covering Ovintiv for Goldman Sachs, we have Neil Mehta, and he reminds investors that there are considerable gains in store for this stock in 2022. He says that shareholder returns will be in the form of share repurchases or variable dividends, we expect a focus towards share repurchase given the company is trading at a discount to peers, while the remaining free cash flow will be used to further debt reduction and small bolt-on acquisitions. We believe the focus for the company, aside from achieving its net debt target, will be on its ability to offset inflationary pressures through operational efficiencies, and we see a potential S&P 500 inclusion. Management noted it met all the criteria with positive Q4 earnings as another catalyst for shares to outperform. And this is why he gave it a buy rating with a $71 price target, which is a 47.58% upside. So guys, those are the two oil stocks that Goldman Sachs suggests is set for strong gains. Let us know what you guys think on Tip Ranks TV. I will be responding to all comments directly there. I have linked it down below in the comments and in the description box and in this video. We can't wait to hear from you. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. Also remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Woo! <laughs>